Hey, welcome back, Design Squad. What is up? It's another week, another Design Tool Tuesday, and if you're new to this, every Tuesday I'm covering one very useful design tool or method or plugin which you can immediately put into your workflow and make your product design or UX design, UX research, anything to do with experience shaping and experience design better. And so today I have something special which is basically a data visualization tool. And as you can see on my screen immediately, I have a variety of diagrams. And this tool was made by infographic design agency. So, you know, data visualization is their forte. And that's why I loved this tool and have been referring to it for years now. It contains basically charts you might need in your data visualization, decision support, AI, machine learning, big data, anything to do with visualizing very complex data sets in very understandable and easy to interpret way for your end users. We have so many different different bits. We have progress bar, it's simple, let's say alluvial diagrams, Sankey diagrams, the ones which are quite hard to actually work on from my experience, have something easier like donut charts, radar diagrams, line graphs, you know, even like let's see stream graphs, transit maps, funnel charts, or linear process diagrams, and heat maps and so forth, you know, bubble charts, the ones which I, for example, am a big fan of, and many, many more. But let's say if I click in into one of the graphs, it basically cover all the bits exactly why should you use it and what's the purpose of it as well as gives you an examples of really nice looking ones for example this is more of an infographic one right you wouldn't think it's interactive but you could use it in your ui design to make it interactive let's say in this case and allow users to drill down and see exactly where the key heat maps are for let's say this is for presidential speeches and the reading level of it so immediately you can see exactly where the, let's say the grade level reduced over time and how many speeches were where over time let's say as you can see there are quite a few here there were some blanks and then boom after 1975 there was a big boom of actual speeches and so there is a lot of examples and you can actually drill down especially if you're not sure how to present something let's say if you're new to dashboard design uh, you're not sure how to present certain tables in a meaningful way you should definitely explore this tool because it can give you so many different ideas so for example box plot which is really hard for designers to master from my experience and juniors always struggle is good to explore and understand exactly what your confidence level is like and how it's calculated for example this is all good and i think you already understand the value of this tool because there's just hundreds of examples but the best bit about it, if I were you, where I would start is these few menu selections. This tool is amazing in that way where, let's say, you can filter all these charts by, let's say, diagram. So by their family of, uh, of the different charts. You can also filter it by the input. So if you see something which actually is part of your data set, something you're exploring. For example, maybe it's this one, very simple one where it's free values and percentages. It gives you suggestions of how to present it. That's the best bit. That's an awesome bit because then you don't need to make that, you know, hard decision of how to present it. You can also go into functions and even select, let's say, comparison and boom, you all have all the examples which are perfectly fit for comparison diagrams and data visualizations. So the decision making which of these to pick up is already made for you. And all you have to do is actually you can even go there, make this as a screenshot, just copy that as an image into your design, show it to the end users, validate it. They see yes, this actually makes sense and it's a meaningful outcome of it. Or maybe even just using one of the examples which you see here and just do that and, and showcase it to your users, let's say. You validate it, you are on a good track and then you can explore it. So that's the key use case I, for example, use it for because there are just so many ways you can represent the data. The meaningfulness comes only when you involve the users who are going to use your product and then validate if it's right. Since I showed you what the function is like, let's say if I would select distribution and maybe geographical data, I have maps which is, let's say, cartogram is a, you know, a no-brainer. Bar chart on a map or spike diagrams, which are very trendy right now, is another way to, for example, explore the data. But shape is another thing. Let's say if you already sorted out the meaningfulness of it, you might think of maybe, you know, that place could be filled with, let's say, a pie chart. So you can also filter it out by pie charts and see if it, any of these fit your use case and what you're after. Or perhaps it's a triangle or just a rectangle. 
For example, knowing how humans interpret everything in basic shapes and everything is stored in memory in basic shapes and the combination of these is actually how we recall things. And let's see, that's why icons are so powerful. That could be another way for you as a designer to explore how to fill in a space in a meaningful way too. And so this is a treasure trove. If I were you, I would bookmark this resource immediately because it's an amazing design tool. It doesn't matter if you're a graphic designer, if you're a UI designer, if you're a UX designer, it fits anyone's needs because you can screenshot, you can see examples, you know exactly why. And the best bit that you can explore and actually find the right solution for your big data or data visualizations. So check this tool out. Let me know in the comments down below how you find it. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to this channel and until next time.